Hello everybody, welcome back to more Star Renegades. We are going to be starting another another run here. I think that we do actually get to pick our team, it sure seems like. Objective is over there, recruit commando, recruit marksman. Alright, let's pop on up. First of all, we do have the, uh, the level ups. I don't know if we want to necessarily spend them yet since we don't know who we're going to keep. Weapons merchant. Gadget merchant. I, do we get to, does it cost money to recruit one of these, or should we, huh, I, I think step one, let's, let's do this first, let's figure out if it costs money, I've taken down some nasty critters in my day, so the Imperium ain't no match for my laser rifles, their robo pelts are gonna make some fine rugs, his long range shooting ability should come in handy, and if he's got some mythical beast jerky with him, even better. Uh, I'm going to say no for a second, because what's the uh, the difference here? This is going to be great research for my next pirate self-help book, Buck Can Ears but versus Buck Cantoneers, How to Find Yourself by Looting and Pillaging. Self-help workshop with Bentley normally costs a thousand credits, so having him in the squad is already a deal. Honestly, sure. Bentley, I like him. I like his look here. Recruit Commando. Didn't we already do that? Yes. Joins the Renegades. Okay, but now we really have them. So we had to we had to pick between the two. Okay. What is a gadget, per se? Okay, so there's weapons and then there's gadgets. Bentley's got nothing. I also don't even know what he does. I think that that might be something we want to look at here. All right. What's your deal? Defend, of course. Salvo, apply, wait, ooh. Applies return fire effect. Interesting, so he's got a different effect on there. So return fire. So he's got a little bit more of a reason. Okay, apply self effect, return fire. This all applies return fire. Interesting. So this is a light attack. Okay, just a simple light attack. What do we got here? Applies on crit effect, weaken armor damage. Weaken armor damage. So weakens the amount of armor damage they can apply, it sure sounds like. So he's kind of like a, he's like a utility guy. Oh, we can rename everyone. Oh, you know we're gonna do it. Let's see, all right. Of course, we have to go based off of, uh, oh, but at the same time, Zerk's Nerza. <laughs> now, we're going to go based off of the Patreon list. You know we gotta. You know we gotta. That being said, let's see. We got, uh, <laughs> I was not prepared for this. We got Justice Tom up there. We could have two rows in the name. That doesn't sound like it makes any sense. Zerk's Nerza. Zerk's Nerza. Does it fit? Yes, it can. I mean, if we can have a line break, I'm sure. I guess so. We're just going through. We're renaming them all. Uh, let's see. We got Throbo. And we've got Nidalaric. There we go. Slash. There we go. Zerk's Nerza. More than awesome, a.k.a. Zerk's Nerza. All right. Patreon name's up in there. But I did want to see what he did. All right. So... Let's give him some level ups. I want to. We're gonna give him more level ups than uh, the formerly Nando. I don't remember exactly. Throbo, Throbo, Nando to Throbo. Vague truism. Shield damage. It's a camp ability. Okay. What do you got? Gain the vague truism and an extra twenty health. All right. That looks about right. <laughs> <laughs> it looks about right. You can have six people in the squad at the same time. Is that true? That's crazy. That's so much. It's a full-on Pokemon team. So now that I kind of know what he does. Resist Nitro damage. Damage versus health AoE attacks. Damage versus shields. All attacks. Uh, how much? It's 24. Plus four armor damage on flurry attacks. Steals shields on all attacks. You know what? Here you go. Oh, wait. It can only be done on those. All right. All right. All right. 
Bonus health, resist corruption damage. I kind of like the idea of this guy having a little bit more defensive capabilities due to the fact that he's got kind of a reflection thing, making him ideally, a little bit more ideally the tank. Staggers, 10 seconds. Concussion, wait, concussion three inflicts rattled three. Staggers, 10 seconds. Weaken defense on all attacks. Does this give us a move? Is that what this is saying? This gives us an actual move? I don't know why you can't equip it. Neither of them can equip it for whatever reason. Maybe it's because it's a, a blaster and we're not currently using a blaster. Could that be the case? Genuinely, I'm not so sure. We could just uh, we could just purchase it and then figure it out from there. You know what? Let's buy it and then we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out from there. Worst comes to worst, we purchased the thing that's uh, not useful right now. Which I think is okay. You know, whatever. Okay, yeah, we can equip it. I don't know why we just couldn't equip it from there, I guess. See, that's what I was thinking. I, I was getting the vibe. I was getting the vibe. Density graft. Zerk's Nerza. Here you go. AKA more than awesome. We did not... Did we equip it? Uncommon. Okay. As far as why we can't equip it, I guess I'm not so sure. That's something we're going to have to figure out. It's because it's a level 4 item and we need to be level 4 to do so. That might be the case. That's reasonable enough. Let, uh, let's go to the next player. Let's get started here. Interesting. 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 Liberated. To Narash. To Narash. Alright. So. Let's see. Heal health. That's irrelevant. Attacks cause bleeding and crit damage. What do you got? That, what was it? Shield damage plus 25% lasts two combats. I kind of like the idea of more than awesome having that here. So, because the AoE is often something we will do first in the first round for the huge knockback. So if that could also shred uh, repairs armor. Also shred their shields down. That'd be amazing. Plus 30 max shields. Let's go for it. Let's get this budding romance of brewing. That's all we had time for, though. Okay, or all we had space for. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so these are these are everybody that's on the uh, the planet here. You honor me, mommy. Okay. Regenerates health every round, more shields, attacks apply marked, attacks do nitro damage, more health. Okay. So then there's this guy. He's still alive. We did not get to take him down. He's still out and about in the world. Interesting. I wonder how that's going to shake down. Welcome to Narash, archaeological, archaeological capital of the Titan Drift. In better times, I should just a package tour of some of the important ruins. For now, let's just focus on shutting down the next Imperium behemoth. All right. Same deal as Manku, the Imperium set of force fields. The perimeter defenses, Justin will take care of the barriers. We got three days. All right. Narash is the holiest of Titan religious sites. For me, this is a pilgrimage. A pilgrimage of revenge. All praise, Lord Bachula. Okay, so there's an equipment cache here. And one of these guys. He's a level five. Maybe we uh, potentially consider. We could go one... Two, or let's see, we can backtrack. So we go one, two. What are you? You're a level six. Oh. So it seems like we kind of have to do the the level five fight here, which is okay. All right, all right. Bring it on, punk. Bring it on. We got a new whole new party member. So both your heroes and your enemies start combat in a set formation. Their position determines whether they can be hit or not by certain attacks. Frontline enemies can be hit by any attack. Backlines can only be targeted after all enemies in the front row have been eliminated. 
attacking uh, attacks that can target any position can bypass the front line these attacks display a special targeting icon to signify they can target any position i see i see so you are in the back line are you in the back line now is the time for me to do this i suppose okay cob Is there a way to tell for sure? Like, visually, he sure looks like he's in the back line. But, like, is this guy in the back line, too? Oh, boy. Weak versus heavy attacks. Uh, regenerate shields every round. Attacks do extra damage. Okay, so he also has extra defense versus armor damage. That's not that big of a deal. Okay, so we we want to uh, readjust our party order, I think. Because I'd like to put this guy in the front. Broadside. Oh, man, we got a lot to a lot to figure out here. I think step one. I do like the idea of just the group-wide pushback there. I think that that works well for us. Uh, point bash. Fire. Point blank. A lot going on there. Everybody, everybody hates you. What are you? What are you even doing? You're doing nothing. You're literally just sitting there. All right. Uh, I think we're gonna defend for now. Maybe we'll steal shields next turn. Salvo though. Okay. So this is a, it's a light attack. It can be done very early. It's no big deal. Also get return fire. We can armor damage. Whose attack is doing the most armor damage? Four, four, four. They're all doing four. Most damage for shields. Hmm. Reduce their defense. It's done, it's done very, very late. That's one thing I'm noticing for sure. Uh, you know what? Let's go for this, because it also is breaking some of the armor there. Throw a bow. We could push somebody into next Tuesday. Break you, break you. All right. We'll focus up here. Boom. The AoE shields damage, right? Good deal. And he's on fire. Clean. Oh, I do want to watch what his uh, his animations look like there. So yeah, we're a little bit more AOE focused than I probably would like, slash should be. Now's the time for me to do this, I suppose. What are you doing? Oh dear God. Step one, we can't blitz you into the next day, can we? No, we can't even touch you. I see. That is uh, problematic to be sure. Okay, so you will... I'm going to get you to defend, and I think bestow shields happens when... Oh, that happens later than I would like. So I would like to push somebody back. I could push you back. I could push you back all the way. Oh, my God. That helps. And then, let's see. I could blitz... I cannot blitz the back line, which is really what we would need... Yeah, this is just uh this is just problematic basically. This is huge damage. All right. And then we do get to put up our shields again. We we were able to scrape it together a little bit. I would love another front line. Do we have like are you the front line and everybody else is the back line? Is that really is that what's happening? I see a world, the world a whole new way now. Okay. Don't move. Are you... What? Counter. Don't move. Is he protecting... Are you protecting him? Or are you just protecting yourself? That I don't know. We can't attack the back line... 
Like, I would love to just bop you. Armor piercing rounds. Free action, full ordnance, bonus armor damage. Okay. I mean, it's cool. It's irrelevant for now. We'll keep that for later, potentially. Uh, we do have a shield steal. That I definitely like the idea of. Oh, my goodness. We could push you into the next day. I think we uh, I think we blitz this guy the hell away. Step one, blitz him the hell away. That's a good call, because now we can maybe steal something. I want to I want to steal shields. This is a break. Do we need to sunder? Slash does more damage. Cleave does more damage. We can't crit him. Okay. Oh my god. Yikes. If we discharge, we will break that one. We're going to also return fire. We're going to get returned fire on uh, on more than awesome here, which I don't want. Cataclysm. Against everybody. Oh, I see. Obviously, then, like, whatever doesn't get fixed. Like, we, we we're going to take some big damage. What happens if you do it? Do I get to... I do get to steal shields. All right, this is crazy. Here we go. Do I did I get to steal shields from both people? Okay, this is crazy. This is weird. Big burning. We're going to get enraged. Okay. I actually love that. That turned out really well in the end. We only have one character who can attack now. Let's see. You're the only person even going on this turn. Can you kill? I cannot. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing I can do. I, we might, if I can't kill him, I might as well get this guy dead for next turn. I don't like this damage that's coming in, but oh, I yeah, I really don't. For the Imperium. Oh, Ave Maria. Can we blitz you? We can blitz you into the next day. But we could also just kill you. The fact that I can't... Enrage versus Pyro, we could push him back. There's nobody who can attack fast enough to kill the front line. So that we can push the back line back. Which is really a bummer. Old Justice Tom. Getting all bopped. Bestow shields happens really late. Discharge pushes back, but not enough. Unless... Unless is it, it pushes back enough for us to... Kill with a crit here. That's close. Straight shot. Man. Not my fave. Not my fave scenario. Not my fave scenario. Can break you though right we could break you not that that matters really god this backline thing i totally totally get it now trick shot could let us uh hit the back line doesn't seem very good bonus damage versus health laser oh it's a stun i see i see i see this is just bad. 
We, we need to push him back so we at the very least don't get crit, right? Like, that's... That much for sure. So can we... So we can't attack the back line right now, even though we totally can attack the back line. Because he'll be dead. Just because the way the time works out. Oh boy. Not good. Not good! It's fine. It's all okay. It's really... It's all okay. Uh, definitely blitz you away. I'm really, really loving blitz. I think that it's so good. It... <laughs> Old, uh, good old, oh, heck. I, I, I gotta remember the names of, it's Throbo, it's Throbo is who it is. I gotta name, remember which names we've selected for him. All right, um, Sunder, Cleave. It's a huge amount of damage. He's a very weak boy. You're a very weak man. It's just the fact that he had a really beefy front line. We're going to need ways to uh, to work around that because we can see very clearly there how it uh, messed us the hell up. These locals are stronger than they look. Pop. Get out of here. No point crying over them. We are eminently replaceable. Mommy has many more of us. Oh. Does mommy. Does she? All right. Um, we got fifty-one. Plot revenge. Celestial smash. What's that now? It's uh okay. Applies crit effect. Burning. Doesn't everything because of our equipment. So it. Wait, weird. Wait. <laughs> okay, so it does an AoE damage, pierces some of their armor, reduces a lot of armor. It's an AoE armor reducer that also heals us a little? Weird? Weird but cool? Also... Hold on. I didn't realize it mattered. The casing. There we go. I'll do that every single time. All right. All right. What do you got? New gear. You can equip it. You can equip it. You. Wait, you can equip this? Big number. Just a very big number there. I do like the thought of that. All right, you know what? Big number sword. We can maybe put the pyro blade on somebody else now. Actually, probably not because it is a, a sword. That's why we can't equip it with the other characters is because it is a sword. All right, resume game. Let's back on up for a second. I do kind of... I think that now... I just want to be a good good boy. We'll get the credits cash. We'll get the HP cash. I want to see what this does. Is this a Titan Temple or Ancient Visitor Center to nearby a larger giant Titan Temple? I can never tell. Plus, is one more impressive than the other? The Titans built these structures to the last, which is why the Narash is ruled by people. the People's Earthquake Retrofit Party. You think there's no bath a bathroom in there? I guess it would be Titan size. So it's not that useful. What do you mean? There's plenty of room, then. Okay. Full heal. All good. Narash always abandoned? I like it. I love all the quaint Norash customs. I like punching tourists in the back of the head and taking their hollow wallets. I'm always impressed by the Narashian architecture. Nothing gets me more excited than an earthquake space retrofitting. It's worth traveling for. Okay, so there's money on the ground. But we didn't know we didn't know it n until now. We're just backing up through, doing a little, little collecting, little collecting. Your camp. All right, good deal. 
I guess we could have healed ourselves with this. Ah, we got to keep that in mind. If we only have if we only have one unit that's hurting like that, that's a different story. Okay, so that's there's no reason not to do that. It doesn't even cost my dude. Doesn't even cost any of these. Health damage up. Armor piercing, same deal. I like the extra max shields there. Truly, truly beautiful. I, and I love how, like, the, it's just natural the way that you, like, the units that defend each other more, like, right here, uh, more than Awesome Justice Tom, more than Awesome Justice Tom are going to be very buddy-buddy in the camp, which means they'll be buddy-buddy in combat because they have a lot of, like, synergy. Like, Zerx Nerza, more than Awesome, is keeping Justice Tom alive, so it makes sense that they'd be friendly. Shield damage up. Attacks drain shields. Add that. All right, we got one more available action point. My dude! All right. Good deal. All right. Done, son. Was that giant Omnistar cruiser there a second ago? Come on, squad. It's time to kick some Imperium cruiser butt. Metaphorically speaking, starships don't have butts. I'm not a total idiot. Maybe if we all shoot our guns in the air, we can just scare it away. All right, let's go see. What's what's it to you? Is it an extra fight? It's, an ex it's just straight up an extra fight. Optional, though? I think it might have been optional. Uh-oh. Uh oh. So you marked the back. We did not try to figure out the uh, adjustment there. Your armor is broken, so that does stay overnight. So yeah, 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 yeah. We probably should have done the armor repair. Uh, speaking of, let's see. What do you do, Sunder? How much? Nothing because we're getting crit. I want to see. Does that put us in scenario where we can sunder here? It does, and that puts it all the way down. But we cannot push you into the next day. So let's see. I think maybe a blitz. I keep on forgetting that it is instant. Can we still sunder you? We can sunder break you. I, I do like the thought of that. And if we're getting hit here, and then we steal shields here, I kind of like the thought of that. Yeah, we're stealing shields very late. And then what do you do? Can we hit the back line? We can hit the back line. Hell, we can break the back line. What's the difference here? They can do less armor damage. Sure. Let's keep ourselves defended a little bit since this seems like just like a bonus. Effectively. It's just a little extra. Okay. That hit is going to come in no matter what. Uh, we can also just bestow shields. This just happens after now, so I'm fine with that. We can't crit with anything, so everything is just going to be straight up damage at this point. Holy moly. Yeah. Since everything's just straight up damage, I think we just pick the ones with the biggest number until next turn. Because we're going to restore the shields. Right there. Good enough for me. And then now next turn, we'll probably be able to pump it up. An extra... Okay, so it's a heal... Bonus damage, stackable attacks. So basically, we need to kill you quickly. Like, is it a big deal, though? I don't know. Sunder, cleave. We can't cleave and get the crit. We don't need to pierce armor. We don't really need to pierce armor, though. So the fact of the matter is 59 plus 30. We're still going to be doing more with cleave anyways. Is kind of where we're at. 
we might as well just might as well just keep going here. We do get a couple of these crits off. Broadside. And hopefully we can uh, do a little pushback on this next turn here. He's got stats on him like crazy. We cannot! Nothing matters, though. Look at that. It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. He's not going to break through our shields, so... Might as well just select everything. Is there just like an end turn? End turn? Like force end turn button? Boom. Easy. Plus 20? Wait, what's happening? Uh. Extra what's happening? What's happening? It seems like... There may be an issue, because I can't do anything. I can't click. Let me tab out, tab back in. Okay. Let me try the obvious thing that we do next, which is close and reopen, as we figure it out here. Game's new. Not, uh, not to be, you know, totally surprised if uh, something is a little funky. But something's definitely, something's definitely up there. Like, we can't even, uh, can't interact. All right. What's cracking? Show me what's up. Please don't be hard, like, hard locked. Okay. Okay. I'm a little scared that it's just gonna happen again. There we go. That was a bloody battle, but it's better than most space elevator music. Do space elevators even have music anymore? My mother was a space elevator, so I wish these goons would show some respect. Okay. So this counts. This is a whole extra thing. It's like a little little teleporty thing. Who the heck are ya? Are you a special one? Krevel Rin, you are. Okay, once again, it's very much a frontline mess. Every big part of me just wants to do that. It just looks so satisfying. So then if we can just kill a couple of the ones that are going for this hit here. Kill shot. Kill shot. Eh, that'll work. Kill a couple before they even get to us. Yeah, we used a lot of our fury, but... It's... Not only does it also... It makes us go quicker, but it also helps us... Oh, I do not like that we got uh, a little Zerks and there's a smash in there. It helps us take less damage. It really does. I think it's a nice, well-timed thing there. Don't move. So, okay. When does bestow shields happen? A little too late. Who has shields? Just in case. Return fire. That's okay. We can't hit the back line then, so we might as well just hit, what, defend with everybody? Might as well. And we should figure out the... What? What? No! Okay, well, we're gonna blitz you so we can get the kill shot off so we can then attack the back line. That's very... Like, quick attacks like that seem so beneficial in that regard. So beneficial. All right, all right. So, yes, yeah, so we're spending our day in here instead, I guess. Uh, Horn Swaggle. Redirects attack to a random ally. 
a random ally. Patter. It's a camping card. Ooh, that sounds handy. All right. Did we just, uh... Oh, my God. So much. Do I want to go for horns? I mean, I don't know that I care that much about horn swaggle. I kind of just want to get the, uh, the stats and then see what else we can get in the future here. <laughs> Sorry, Throbo. I don't know why I don't want... I'm like, he's super useful. So this is not using any of our charges. This is completely separate. It's just bonus that we cannot go backwards, though. What's in here? Conservator. Conservator. Literally the same stuff. I wonder if we if we go this way, if we could. This, we get information this way to see if we can go out down to the left. I wonder. Oh, boy. What? Get wrecked, nerds. What the hell? This isn't, this is a DNA farm right here. That's what this is. An extra camping card. It buffs up some attack and defense, it looks like. Wow, fine. Since we're getting so much, here you go, Throbo. 18 health, hard gain patter, so we're at 5535. Five. Super handy. This son of a gun, man. This is cool. I'm glad we came in here. Can we, uh. I, I mean, well, boo. So if we break somebody, though. Can we break the front line? We can break the front line. If we break, you know what that means. We just get to... We just get to do this again. It's amazing! That's so strong. I mean, it makes sense we're buffing the heck out of him. You're both attacking... Wait, what are you doing? You're trying to attack Throbo, but you... Are missing? Wait, what's happening? Bonus damage versus shield. 25% versus marks. What are you doing? Why are you why is this not doing damage? I'm i I'm just terrified that this is actually going to become a problem. I mean we can also maybe just we cannot can't quite kill. Shall I horn swaggle? I don't get it. Why why is it doing nothing? I don't believe you. Is it no, it's because we pushed him into the next day. I forgot. Mommy can't lose. I forgot we pushed him into the next day. That's why. All right. So, step 1. Blitz should It does not. Cuz you are being defended. Is that what's happening? Guarding, yes. Semi-annoying. We don't have anything else that's quick. Right? Oh, this is quick. So you take both hits then, huh? Oh, jeez. All right. So I can't even horn swaggle you. All right. You just defend. Let's just, uh... Let's just slap that guy in the back silly if we can. It's not... Is it a crit? Is it count as a crit? I don't know if it counts as a crit. Oh! What? Because he's not on this bar at all. So is it like if I crit this guy, it's a crit on him? I don't, I don't know. That I don't know. I mean, this does a lot of damage, so let's just do that. We'll see how this shakes out. 
Okay. Kind of uh, kind of as I anticipated there. Okay. Good deal. Wow. This is just a DNA farm. This is that's all this area is. It's crazy. New gear. All right. Uh, let's see. Laser blade at 25% damage versus health. Probably should go for ooh, gauntlets, maybe. Pulse rifle. You don't even have one, so I feel like this is a no-brainer, but I, let me see what it does. For, I want to know what it is. Attack steal 10 to 29 shields. Amazing. Bonus damage versus shields. Inflicts ionized 5. I don't know what ionized 5 means. Unless that is the same thing? I don't know what ionized is. And at this point, I'm too afraid to ask. Okay, guys, we talked about this. No stealing enemy ships before checking in with the general first. Don't worry, I flipped the cruisers. Enter, enter null zone nether dimension switch before we left. It's weird that they even had that installed in the first place. Okay. AA gun contains credits. All right, here. Let's, uh... Let's see we're probably not gonna do like full days every single time because quite frankly like it's gonna get really really long but let's go do uh let's go do one more fight here in this episode since we have two we have two entire days left that's like another couple hours <laughs> and by that i mean probably one more hour let's hit uh what Plants? Okay, sorry. I, I only briefly saw what that said, but it sounds amazing. Plant an explosive that you get the power to immediately detonate later. That is just kooky enough to be fun. All right, here we go. This is the fight we'll do, and we'll move on for this episode here. Hopefully we don't get bopped. I need to look at the freaking... <laughs> I need to see if there's a way to put this guy in the front. I mean, it's all okay. Here's the issue with what happened, is that we don't get to do our uh, camping. Plant explosives. Takes a whole turn. Immediately detonated later. Okay. It's a mini pushback on everyone reduces quite a bit of shields broadside pushes back salvo pushes back 55 seconds there's only one guy we can even do it to you you defend and hell at this point sure I, I need to get the front line gone especially because I know that guy is a he ramps up over time He's a ramp up. Oh, please tell me that was everything. Okay. Good enough for me. Don't move. So if you attack him, we get shot at. That may just have to be okay. Swinging fists. Salvo. No, I think we need to. We need to. Oh, we need to blitz the back line, but we can't. Dear God! This is terrible. There's nothing we can do, dude. We can get the kill shot off. Can't even... We can horn swaggle. That does that hardly sounds like a good idea. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, well at least it was countered. Oh, you hero. Genuinely? Genuinely, that was pretty good. Mother's power courses through me. Mommy's power courses through me. Sorry. Can't believe I did that. You're not dead? Okay, you are dead. Alright. This is a little... 
It's a little wacky, a little finicky, but we got uh, a couple shields down in the back line, which I'm okay enough with. Crown Pound. Uh, genuinely, I think the Cataclysm is probably the way to go. What happens if we Cataclysm with you instead? If we Cataclysm with you, that's kind of what it looks like. If we Cataclysm with you, does it do the same thing? No, it does more damage if we do it with her. Can armor break. Easy enough there. Broadside. We need him gone. But I kind of want to blitz him. Does it push him? Like, how far does it... Does it push him further into the next day? It pushed him all the way into next the next day. Okay. That kind of answers the question. Uh, at least I think it does. Answers the question of whether or not... Uh, it, like, it matters how far back you push him or not. Because then we could, in theory, just blitz him again. We're kind of... Why do today what you can put off until tomorrow? And then you can... Let's see. You can probably just straight up take down... Yeah, you can straight up take down that fool. All right. Good enough. We still have the ability to push back one more time. I think we do it to line up a scenario one scenario where we can uh put the shields on to throw bow resist versus heavy we've not been looking at that we, we really should resist versus heavy wait we this isn't a heavy attack this is a normal attack is it because we are doing a heavy attack on the other characters, just making sure we know? That may be the that may be the thing. All right, so nobody's even losing red health. So I think we just go in on the damage. Anything that can crit, we shall crit with. Well, might as well. Same thing here. Salvo can crit. Good. All right. All of that build up, my friend, and that's what you got? You gonna try to run? Mommy, your will is done. <laughs> Pumping up. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured he would go for that. We did see that move before. Broadside is enough to push him the hell away. We should be totally fine to just get the kill this turn. And if not, we get the kill next turn. All right. Too clean for me, man. So good. So good. So good. Arslan Ardmore. Arslan Ardmore is done. Commander Clobberer achievement. Defeat the first commander. That was a commander? Get wrecked, punk. Defeated a commander together. Five hearts exhaust when used. Why was it them? Mother! Mommy! But you promised! I like... Mommy! Mommy! But you promised. Oh, good deal. Another of Mommy's children dead. This feels familiar. Wait, is this... Is this the same punk from before? I think it might be. All right, let's uh, sever. Applies crit effect bleeding five. 17 health per round. Mana war. Uh, it is a flurry attack, which is 21 times four. Uh, applies self effect return fire, of course. Ionize five means defense down versus shield damage. Gotcha. Disarming wink. Oh, throw though. All right, let's get uh, let's get the level up here. Bada. And then that is actually 
going to be where we call it for today. Oh, after... No, fine. We will get, we'll get the Imperium Tech Crate first. The epic quality gear first. Uh, let's see. Does anybody not have... Holy crap. Health plus three and health plus two. Giving them an absolute buttload. You know what? Here you go. You equip that, and then we will give your item to somebody else. Okay, and also you can equip this now. Boom. Boom. Anything here that is unequipped? Nothing. Appears to be. Well, the sword, but that's just... We, we have a better version of it now. God, the loot is so good. The loot's so good. All right, anyway, that's going to do it for today. I greatly appreciate any and all support you guys wish to leave on the series up to this point. Leave a like button, especially since it's the very beginning of this series. It means a very, very big... <laughs> it makes a very big difference, is what I'm trying to say here with the algorithm. And hey, check out the channel. Subscribe. I put out videos on Roguelikes and more every single day. If you like games like this, I can show you so many, you're going to get sick of them, man. Thank you, thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.